this yeah. world is very fragile. Mm -hmm. Our freedom is fragile. Our democracy is fragile. Our environment is fragile. In fact, I wrote a song about that. Yes, <laughs> we love that song. <laughs> it's also fragile and has to be defended uh, with a great deal of um, strength. We live, we live in these elements, you know, we live in a very narrow band of safety. You know, 10 degrees hotter than we are now, we can't grow our food, we can't breathe. A few degrees colder, we can't, we can't live. So we live in this Goldilocks, you know, world. And that's fragile. And we're destroying it. I mean, it's, it's very simple science. It's a closed system. If you pollute that system, there's nowhere else. There's no off-world paradise to escape to, unless you're Elon Musk or something. We, this is it. And so we have to safeguard it as far as we can. Do, do you see that with your farming, with your wine and your you know, working? Well, I'm wearing land? my overalls today. I've been picking grapes in the fields today. Uh, and we're very proud that we, we make wine with very uh, sustainable farming practices. So that's, the stakes are high mm -hmm. to produce a good wine that doesn't destroy the land. Uh, our ethos is to try and leave the place better than we found it. It's a very platonic ideal. You know, you, we bought a, a, um, a vineyard that was run down and it was, you know, not very productive. And now 23 years later, we have something that's very, very productive, but also very beautiful. And uh, the wine's not bad either. So it's not entirely out of, uh, you know, the bounds of possibility that you can have an effect on people. But can you have an immediate effect? I don't know. I don't know. As you say, I think it germinates somehow and little seeds, they go into the ground and some sometimes they sprout out. Yeah, I mean, you know, my advocacy of issues comes from the idealism of the 60s, you know, from think, thinking and writing and music that I heard in the 60s, which formed my worldview. That, you know, to quote um, Martin Luther King, the, the arc of history is going towards fairness. Occasionally we step back, we go backwards. I think at the moment we're in a backward state. But the arc is relentlessly moving forward, I hope. And I want to be part of that movement.